Hi, my name is Kristen Ingalls. I'm a physical therapist with 21st Century Rehab at Franklin General Hospital in Hampton. I'm here to teach you a few exercises on how to relieve the tension and stress in our upper back and neck. No doubt we are all under a lot more stress than we are normally under right now, and a lot of us find ourselves working from home in less than opt optimal desk setup positions, which may be contributing to more tension, stress, and discomfort. So the first exercise I'm gonna show you can be done sitting at your desk. So typically when we're sitting at our desk, especially in our less than optimal desk setups, we may be sitting in a slouched over hunched position like this, which may be contributing to more symptoms throughout that middle to upper back and neck region. So the first exercise you can do is sitting right at your desk. You're gonna sit back so that your back is nice and flat against the chair, nice tall sitting posture, head in a neutral position. And what you're gonna do is just squeeze your shoulder blades together. Your chest is gonna lift slightly. You're gonna hold for a count of three and relax. So it's just gonna look like this and relax. So I would recommend that you do about five to 10 repetitions of this every half hour to an hour, especially if you're sit sitting at the desk for a long period of time. The next two exercises are going to be done in standing. They both have the same setup. We're gonna place your back against the wall. Your feet are gonna be slightly away from the wall, about six to 12 inches. Your low back and upper back are gonna be flat against the wall. You may have to tilt your pelvis forward and engage your abs to get into that position. Our head is most likely not gonna to be touching the wall. Just keep that in a nice, relaxed, neutral position. The first exercise that we're gonna do in this position is back against the wall shoulder flexion. You're gonna start with your palms facing each other at about your hip height, and you're gonna reach up forward and up nice and slow, just like this. And you're gonna maintain that back flat against the wall through the entirety of the exercise. You're only gonna go up as far as you can while maintaining that back flat and having no pain. We don't wanna see that back arching off the wall. We get higher shoulder flexion and this should be done nice and slow. This exercise, you can do about 10 to 20 reps. If you're feeling a little bit more tension or that's a little bit hard for you, you may wanna start with five to 10 reps. The last exercise can be done in the same position, but I'm gonna face you so that you can see a little bit different positioning for it. We're still gonna start with our feet slightly away from the wall, back nice and flat, and we're gonna bring our arms up into this position. Our elbows are going to be bent. Ideally, the optimal position would be able to get that arms all the way back and fingertips touching the wall, but most of us are too tight through the chest and upper back to do that. So we're probably going to have to set up into this position with those arms slightly off the wall. To do the exercise, you're gonna maintain your back flat, just like we did in the last exercise, and you're gonna lift those arms up. When you're doing this exercise, you'll probably feel a stretch across the front of the chest and the muscles working between your shoulder blades. So it's gonna look like this for most of us. Our goal would be to be able to get those arms all the way back against the wall, fingertips touching and sliding up, but most of us probably are not able to do that without bringing that back off the wall or causing too much tension. So these three exercises are all exercises that we can do to help with that upper back and neck uh, tension and stiffness or maybe some pain that we're having during these times where we're maybe not in our most optimal positioning. All of these exercises should be done without pain. And again, anywhere from five to 10 reps or 10 to 20 as we progress.